you downloaded the code from the github link below in the description section and if you launch it you'll see a code like this a page like this and a basic code structure and this is actually a continuation from our previous tutorial if you download the code you'll get a page like this but if you didn't download and if you don't want to download it's fine just to skip this part you don't worry you can have a fresh start without even this section okay so the first thing we want to do we want to draw a linear progress uh, circular progress bar like this okay now we are using a plugin the plugin is actually this one over here percentage indicator this is the latest version I've downloaded so make sure that you have this uh, plugin and the same version if you want to follow along with me so just go ahead and run get pop okay and then once again if you don't want to start with this it's fine just start from here right here okay so don't worry so the first thing we want to do we want to draw a container first okay all right container all right and as usual container will take a child and this is our child and within the child we'll use a class is called circular percentage indicator circular percentage indicator this one all right and we would be good to go now this one takes some basic properties uh, let's see yes it's uh, asking us to use some basic properties okay the first one is a radius okay so say we want to have a radius like 60 like this one obviously it's more than 60 I guess and uh, we have a line width okay L I N E line width say 5.0 and then you want to use percentage 0.8 which means 80 percent and then say center this is another property and this is used to center text within this circle okay and for now we'll just say 80 percent you can make it dynamic and progress color okay and for now we'll say progress color colors dot uh, green so like this okay now let's go ahead and run our code okay yeah so now we already have this basic small uh, circular progress bar but uh, it doesn't really look like a progress bar and it's not animating so there are a few other things that we need to change all right the first thing we want to do is uh, increase the radius okay so let's go ahead change the radius to 120 and then line width say 15 and now here percentage here it is 80% we can do 60% so we could do either 60 by 100 or 0 0.6 the idea is same I think you understand all right and the, the color itself okay so maybe we want to change a different color so we can say red accent so let's go ahead and say now it looks much better now but of course we can do much more than this uh, once again it doesn't look like that it's animating so the next thing we want to do we want to do animation okay so now to do that we can say animation true okay and next we'll do animation duration okay say animation duration say this one all right now let's go ahead save it and run it okay so as you see it's animating and it took uh, uh, 1500 milliseconds so that's pretty much it about this kind of circular progress bar but once again we can start it further we can put text below it and text uh, even we can style this text as well okay so now let's see so this text itself we can um, style it more okay so we can use uh, style property we can say text style and say font size 20 okay now let's see okay perfect so with the center we put text in the center of this circular progress bar and we can also put text below it just like this one over here okay let's go ahead and do it to do that we can use a property which is called footer and footer is uh, it's pretty much the same one as over here so what do we do we just copy paste it okay and instead of this one we can call it uh, order this month okay all right now let's go ahead and save it okay so that's what we have here and of course we can also change the color itself let's see what color we have here uh, blue color uh, black color so we, we might use a different color say 
uh, what color we can use color colors dot so deep orange accent like that okay perfect so this is what we want okay so that's pretty much about this circular progress bar what we did here so we called this class circular circular percentage indicator and which is coming from our um, uh, this uh, plugin over here right okay and it takes few basic properties um, the properties are like radius line width percentage animation true animation duration and the center property for putting text in the center and the footer right below this uh, circular progress bar so that's pretty much about the circular progress bar okay so next we'll see how to use a linear progress bar okay so to do that the few things we could do right now we can just copy paste this one okay um the just put it right there okay now let's say what happens here now definitely we'll have two circular progress bar but in this case we don't want circular progress bar we might want something is linear uh percentage indicator let's see this one okay so now this one of course it would be linear it doesn't take radius it takes width so we can use width like like this okay and next we also want to use animation true and align with of course we don't need this one so we can comment out and the text itself we have the leading one and the training one okay so instead of center we would say leading okay leading means at the beginning and instead of footer we'll have training which means at the end okay training now well that's it so now let's save it and see the result Okay, perfect so it's working and it took time but now it's a little bit messed up okay and too close so let's fix it the first thing we want to do we can assign a padding to it so we can use edge const inst uh, all over here say 20 and okay, now let's save it okay so it looks like our progress bar is too big so what do we do uh, we could do 180 okay perfect and now over here instead of order this month we could say right side okay right side and over here this is left side now well, let's save it and see the result okay perfect and also what else we could do now this uh, this is a little thin right so we can increase the height of this line okay so what do we do with the line height this one okay and now we'll do it 30 uh, well, it's a little too big, so let's do 20 or 15. Let's see the result. Uh, I think it looks much better. Let's run it one more time. Okay, as you see, it's working. But of course, you can use different time for this. Okay, now let's run it one more time. Okay, perfect. So now uh, it's working pretty much. Of course, you can... Uh, change the color this and that left and right so as you need and as you wish the way you want so it wouldn't make a big um, it wouldn't be so difficult for you now the few other thing we want to do is changing this one so it's too sharp here so we want to have like rounded uh, corner like this we don't want this steep or so sharp edge so we can change it easily over here okay we'll call a uh, property is called circular stroke cap this one and uh, we will use circular say circular stroke cap dot round this one okay now let's save it and see the result okay now it became round now let's run it one more time okay perfect so now the animation and everything else is working so hopefully you learned something from this video and if you liked it don't forget to share the video and don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button and at the end also if you want to learn about this circular this custom shape follow my previous video which i'll put a link uh in the description section so that you can find and learn about it so i'll see you in next tutorial thank you so much